All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, to, and blessings to you, sincere Akim of the elect, out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who rule well. If I didn't say it, um, I just wanted to bring this out. Um, I was watching the brothers from uh, from uh, Des Moines, and they were talking about uh, you know being in the ring, and uh, I was I was basically I was thinking about that, you know, because when you're in the ring, it's like you got all kind of people talking and whispering, and you have a lot of people who go to see fights who have never trained, who would never have the courage to train or even hop in the ring, even for a sparring session, but they come to um, you know, down talk on what another person couldn't do or talk shit or, you know, try to be the guy, you know, they show up and they, you know, like any fight, you know, we just fought uh, Haney versus um, Ryan Garcia. You got people who come, you know, limos and they pay, you know, thousands of dollars for a seat. They got the thousand dollar outfit on, you know, drinking hand and talking shit. But uh, most of them, they, they would never put the work in so they could step in the ring and they could do what those guys do. And then they, they're sitting there, you know, and make a social media event of it. Right? And I think, you know, because we come from the culture of putting our hands to the plow and putting ourselves to work. Right? And that's what the Lord is doing, man. He's calling all hands on deck. And uh, everybody come and bring the best of yourself. All right, but going back to that, um, you know, you can't listen to what everybody in the crowd is talking about. You know, especially you know, like those, those guys are professionals, so they've been trained to hone in. That's like us, man. The scriptures talk about letting your eye be single. Right? The scriptures talk about letting our eye be single. You know, if you like, like uh, I do jujitsu, right? And the thing you're supposed to do is number one, you're focusing in on the match. You're focusing on your opponent, but uh, you're also listening for your coach. You know, your coach is throwing you hints on what to do. All right, the opposing coach, they're, they're throwing counter commands or whatever. But you can't focus on what people in the audience are saying. All right, it, I was watching a match recently, and uh, it was two guys uh, in a jujitsu match. And the guys, one of the guys, his, his family's right there. You know, his kids was talking shit. His woman was talking shit. And it irritated me, but um, I said, eh, you know, whatever. You know, this is their little moment that they get to talk shit. And that's, that's, that's basically what this is for the, for scorners and scoffers. This is their moment where they finally, you know, they get to talk shit. They get to see us um, in the flesh like them. All right, so they, they, they believe, like, oh, we're equal. But at the end of the day, like the scriptures say, Everybody's gonna be appalled, like, oh man, is it, these are these are the men. The scriptures say that their enemies beheld them. Right, these other nations are gonna behold us. Your family who who, who become your enemy, right? Your wife, whoever. You know that 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 bitch that you love so much that you to let you know talk shit on you, and then you get around brothers and try to. Act hard. I hope Jake not doing that, but you know, you know how that goes. But um, yeah, all of your enemies, which you know, your woman, she might leave you. That's why I say that she might leave you. And all of that, and that all that shit that you dealt with was for for nothing. <laughs> all right. But at the end of the day, the elect is gonna be beheld by the world. Like damn. It's like. It. All right, but um. You have to focus on the fight, man. Stay focused. Because it's easy to drift. It's easy to get distracted with shit. Shit that's really not important. Because at the end of the day, the scriptures say, seeing that all these things are going to be burned up, what man of person will you be? All right, this is Joel 2 and 1. Because the scriptures talk about every battles with confused noise. And what you see when you read, um, it was a lot of people. You know, when you're dealing with a lot of people, a lot of times it's hard to... Um, issue out verbal commands, you know, with a, with a with a with a large mob of people. You know, everybody can't hear you. Everybody can't 
necessarily um, be in earshot of what you're saying, right? So we use trumpets, and that's what this prophecy is likened to a trumpet. All right, Joel 2 and 1, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, it is nigh at hand, it is near. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not been either the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. All right, this is a, this is this day that's coming of destruction is is not like any other day that we've seen and that we've heard of ever before. All right now we have different examples of certain things that happen in the land, sieges, and um, you know, uh, um, like like you know, all of the tribes of Israel we fought, and then ultimately we were all taken down, and there've been massacres and. You know, all these different things. This day is going to be on a completely different scale. Right? Even Egypt. Right? We know the stories of Egypt. We know the story, like I said, the Babylonians coming through, the Persians, the, the Greeks. Right? All of these great armies, these these great military mites. This day is going to be on a complete another level. And that's what we're in tune to. You know, we've all woken up. I was woken up through YouTube, somebody blowing the, 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 the trumpet online, you know, warning me, hey, wake up, repent, get ready, all right, because this time is coming where the, the, the armies of heaven, everything, you know, the armies of heaven will return, because the angels are all around us, but this time they're going to ride on Esau, all right, and they're coming in full force. All right, you're going to have global events popping off. You're going to have warfare already here. All right. And in the Middle East, all these different things are being warned of. All right, and it's not going to stop, you know, just because one person is uncertain or one person, uh, you know, ah, well, I'm not sure. Well, look, the, the show going to go on without you. You know, and I tell myself that oftentimes, like, look, you might, you know, because you have a moment. You know, whatever, whatever spirit of whatever wickedness that your your mind, because the heart is deceitful. Whatever your heart might tell you, but you gotta return to this word, man. This word is that trumpet. It says, "A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth." The land is as the garden of Eden before them, right? That's talking about this place, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. So nothing is going to escape this place except for the elect. Right, which will be beamed up. But as far as the enemies of the Lord, nothing's going to escape. The appearance of them is that the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. It's talking about the missiles. And then it goes in. But I wanted to provide another example because it starts going into the missiles. All right, this is Numbers 10 and 4. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Make thee two trumpets of silver of a whole piece, shall thou make them, that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps. And when they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And that's, you know, it's the same thing. And the battle you blew it, well, it's going to tell you. In the battle you blow the trumpet for, for, for your soldiers to have direction. Because right, the scriptures say that. Right? Every battle is with a uh, confused noise. You got niggas fighting, niggas chanting, you know. They might be doing a war cry. It's loud. Right, you ever been into a, uh, into, into, like I said, into a, into a, a, a gym on fight day? It's loud as hell. You know, it's rambunctious in there. Everybody's talking shit. Be cheering for your teammates, whatever. And that's like this place, man. It's, it's, this place is full of confusion. All right, this place is full of fucking confusion. It's all kind of people with all kind of opinions and voices and talking all kind of shit. 
All right, men of the Lord, I know you go through this too, man. You got all kind of spirits that are just, everybody's just looking at you for some reason. You know, when you walk in the room, all right, people, spirits come over to fuck with you or tell you their life story or what. It's like, man, like sometimes it'd be like, man, just leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> all right, but, but in the middle of the Lord, man, you just attract that attention. All right, it says, and that's what we do when we blow this horn. We track, we attract, this horn is to attract the attention of the elect. All right, it says, and if they blow, but with one trumpet, then the princes, which are heads of the thousands of Israel, shall gather themselves unto thee. When ye blow an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east parts shall go forward. When ye blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the congregation is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound an alarm. Let's see, you look that word, alarm, signal, sound of tempest, shout, shout a blast of war. Then give you the details of uh, what the difference between the blowing the trumpet and the alarm. So I guess the, the tune of the alarm it might be, might probably was different, you know. Whatever it is. All right, it says, when you blow it, and the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generations. Let me see what an ordinance I want to say that's a warning. Statute limit. Appointed custom manner ordinance s statute. Okay. And that's like enough to us, man. We're the we're the we're the priests. And if you go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, then you shall blow an alarm with the trumpets. And ye sh right, so you blow the alarm with the trumpet too, so it must be a different tone or a different sound. And ye shall be remembered before the Lord your power, and ye shall be saved from your enemies also in the day of your gladness, and in the solemn days and the, the beginnings of the months, ye shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you for a memorial before your power. I am the Lord your power. And it shall come to pass. And that's basically the point. Yeah, when it's talking about um, speaking in tongues in 1 Corinthians 14, it's 13, it says, Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Uh, let me go right to the point. Verse 8. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? Yeah, so it must be a certain sound, a certain sound that the trumpet gives, you know. And we know the certain sound, we know the certain song, right, that's being played is this word. Right? We're not here to give an uncertain word. We're here to give a, a, a certain, certain explanation to our people with what's going on, man. Continually over and over again. What does it say? Wake up the mighty man, prepare them for battle. Fill Zion with thy uh, unspeakable oracles. And that's what we're doing. All the elect is going to be woken up. All the elect is going to hear the voice of the Heavenly Father. He said, well, my sheep hear my voice. So if somebody's of the elect, when they hear this lesson, it's going gonna, it's gonna to jab them in their spirit. They're going to be, they're going to be, because uh, they say the wise words are as golds. So they're going to be pricked. They're going to want to move. They're going to hold up. What is this guy? What is he saying? This All this stuff is going to go down? See, right now, I noticed that with Jake, you know, because all over the scriptures, Israel waxed fat. They came up, started doing well. Even now, Jake ain't doing well, but, you know, they can still go to Walmart. They go up the street to the Dollar Tree. Which the Dollar Tree ain't even a dollar anymore if you're paying attention uh, you can still you know go to work and get your supplication and all this shit 
You know, even, you know, we know the game. We know um, they purposely disenfranchise and, and, and throw a bunch of salt in the game. We know how that go. But you can still have, you still have the basics. Like the scriptures even talk about that. They think, because uh, victuals are cheap, they should think themselves to be in a good case. All right, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's inflation, but, you know, stuff is still cheap. And then I would imagine they could just change, you know, they can change the prices around or whatever. But that day is still coming and we're still blowing that horn beforehand. All right, and if you don't hear, shit, it wasn't meant for you to hear. All right, but the focus is on the horn. This is the focus. This should be the, the main focus, no matter whatever you else you do. You might have your side hobby, your side hustle, side mission, you know, your side bitch. But this is the this is the main lady. This is the wife of our youth. So I just wanted to add, uh, land back in a way. Because the brother said that, you know, and I quoted it off of that. You know, we're, this, we're building something, man. We have to stay focused. Call Lawyer Mlaya Haubashim. I was shy, shallow, to the elect.